Jason with Denworks got something pretty cool today. It's a 1966 little V-Dub bug. Very, very cute and really nice. Nice bug. It's been actually restored just a few years ago. And someone did a lot of work to it. You know, completely dismantled it. You know, it wasn't just a leave the windows in and, and paint it and stuff. Someone really spent a lot of time uh, to make this little bug look really nice. And I've actually seen this little guy uh, drive around here in Salem for a number of years so I've always tried to to catch it and see who owned it and I never did did find out um, the gentleman that restored it but I ended up getting it to one of our friends and um, I saw it and I was like man I gotta have that little thing so anyways that's how I ended up with it really cool uh, you know condition in general and you know they tried to do everything right and give it the right look and stuff it's even got the original uh, wheels on it. You can see the little bent uh, holes around there. So those are correct 66 uh, bug wheels. And this is the uh, last year with these headlights and stuff, which I really like. I think 66 is maybe 67 had these headlights. Uh, but anyways, I love the bubble uh, headlights uh, in general. So really nice looking little car. We're going to go ahead and um, show you the headlights working. see the little marker lights are in there, those little halo halo lights before they made halo lights today you can see the headlights they got bright lights and then we got our blinkers you can see this and these lenses these aren't reproductions here you can see the original Hella you will see a little uh, hairline cracks in them you can see couple little small ones but I like original equipment you know you can buy so many reproduction parts uh, for these but for someone to take and use all the original uh, stuff is really nice so you know the body work on it is really nice you know you look down the side it's nice and straight looks good all the panels line up uh, really good you will see some scuffs on the bumpers a few um, just from a little bit of age. They didn't have these re-chromed. You can see a little dent right there. And I think there's a, might be on the back, I think there was a little scuff. There's a couple little scratches there, but I thought there was one on the, the corner. It might be on the back, a look. But overall, in really, really good shape. And it uh, looks real nice. When I put it under my underneath my lift, and when we open up the hood and look at the trunk area, you're gonna be pretty amazed in general. But this thing is turnkey, nothing to do to it, you know, except just drive it. So overall, it looks, looks good. The tires um, are Nanking, and they're uh, 185, 80, 15, and they've probably got 95% tread on them. And, you know, just really, really clean. You'll see here, not any rust in the bottom of the cowl. You can see here, there's one little tiny ding right there. You just have to look at it just right, little tiny one there, but absolutely no rust around, you know, the bottom of the, the quarters or anything like that. You'll notice a little, a couple little scratches and stuff on the trim in general, but nothing major. And I showed you on the other side, there used to be a, a rack that was on it. But you'll see a couple little wear areas right there. And I a, two little spots there. But those could probably be waxed out pretty good with the heavy compound or something like that. But anyways, overall looks in good shape. We'll flip it around here in a minute so you can get a good look of it on the other side in the sun. So we'll show you some more stuff. Okay, yeah, here we are. We just flip it around there so you can get a little better look at it. I love these little bugs and I love the sound of them. Go ahead and rev it up a little bit. You know, it doesn't blow any smoke, and it definitely has that classic V-Dub little bug sound. You know, sometimes people put different tips and mufflers on them and stuff, but I like them just like this. It's just it's just totally classic. We'll go ahead and uh, take a look at the lights. You see the mark lights work. We got brake lights. We got blinkers. Got either left, we got her right, and even the uh, 
license plate light is actually working. You know, this bug's been really sorted out, and when we put it on my lift, it's in uh, pretty amazing uh, condition overall. But I just wanted to give you a short little view of it back here in general. You know, I love the overriders on the bumper still. You know, a lot of people take those off. It's just a really original uh, looking little guy. So, you know, you look at the fenders, really, really straight. You know, and when they took this apart, you know, they took the whole thing apart when they painted it and everything. And so it, you know, looks really good. It's not all dented up or anything like that or any areas where I've seen some weird uh, body work or anything like that. You know, no rust bubbles or anything in the bottom of the uh, quarters. You know, very, very clean. Trim looks nice, but you will see a couple little scratches and things on the trim in general. Running ports look good as well you can see right here on the windshield it's front or i mean the the quarter window from the inside you can feel some little scratches uh that were that are in the glass not from the outside but from the inside there was a rack on it at one point you can see right here where the paint got marred just a little bit from when a when a rack was on there i know there's always discussion on uh, bring a trailer should they have a rack on them? Should they not have a rack on them? Honestly, I kind of like them with a the rack. And um, you could put one back on it if you wanted to. Tires and wheels on this side look good. You can, I think I mentioned it before, but those are the correct 66 uh, bug wheels with the little holes, little venting holes. So anyways, overall, pretty nice. I just wanted to give you a perspective uh, from both sides. You can see a lot of bugs like like a little bug but overall looks really nice this is the worst thing in the paint Let me get over here so you can see it a little better there's a light scratch right here and a little deeper one right there and a little nick kind of scratch there these these two might be able to be buffed to someone knew what they were doing but this one here is a little heavier but that's really the worst of the paint uh in general you know it's it's been driven and enjoyed but this is probably one of the cleanest bugs I've actually ever had and you know methodically put together and stuff someone spent a lot of time on it so we'll go ahead and show you some other stuff hey wanted to take a look at the interior now but the first thing I wanted to show you look how nice these doors shut on this thing really nice for a little bug but interior is in great condition overall obviously it's been redone but it's been done in original material and everything and it it looks really nice no rips in the seats or anything like that very very clean carpets all in great condition I've always loved these floor mats I forgot the the name of them someone in the auction will uh, tell me but you see those in a lot of uh, bugs and Porsches and it's nice too that the uh, dash hasn't been cut up for a radio or anything like that it has all the chrome and everything in general original steering wheel you can see here it's got a little wrap around it and I haven't taken that off to see if there's any cracks but let's just guess maybe there's some hairline ones but it's actually pretty comfortable to drive with that but you can see a couple little cracks on the edge there but I haven't felt anything where there's big gaping crack or anything like that but um you can see the odometer says uh 51 473 bring a trailer we'll just record that as recorded mileage um we obviously don't know the exact mileage in general a lot of that stuff could have been changed out could be original could have rolled over once you know the original radio is in there but it's not working i'll show you what they did in the glove box here in a minute but look at the door jams Really, really nice uh, condition overall. Not rusty. No signs of it, any accidents or anything like that. Very clean door panels again. Very, very nice. All new uh, weather, you know, weather stripping and gaskets. Everything looks in really nice order. One thing I didn't show you, I'll show you the headliner when I hop on the other side here, but the windshield, you can see a little bit of foggy this around the edge here I imagine that's probably an original uh, windshield 
but you can see a little bit of fogginess. Okay, here we are on the passenger side. I'll be a little faster on this side. Uh, door panel and you know all the gaskets and stuff look great. You can see here this channel. It's got a little, a few little hairs coming off here, and you, know, you could trim those off if you wanted. But you know it's actually functioning good. It looks good. But again, the dash looks in great shape. I think this is a, a deluxe bug, especially because it has all the chrome going across the the dash and the original uh, chrome around the windows. We actually don't see that a lot. I don't even know if you can actually get. I might you might be able to get the reproduction uh, trim, um, but I I thought I tried to order this one time, especially for the front windshield. I didn't think I could get that trim or the channel, but I'm probably wrong. I mean they make so much stuff uh, for bugs, but this definitely has the deluxe trim on it in general. Go ahead and take a look at the seat. You know the headliner is really nice, no rips or anything like that. You see a couple little little wrinkles in it, but nothing major. It looks in uh, really good shape. Hey Nolan, hit that light right over there. I'm pretty sure that works, but you can see here the back seat. Oh, here you go. You can see the dome light works over there. So everything looks good inside here. And I was showing you the VIN earlier, and Nolan, I'll take this seat out while we're sitting here looking at the interior, and I wanted to show you that it has the uh, the matching pan. There we go. I kind of make this stuff up as I as I go. We didn't plan that, but you can see here battery area and stuff looks good I haven't cleaned any of this but you can see actually they use the you know it doesn't have foam underneath the seat there you can see the original uh, kind of hair type stuff but right here is what I wanted to look at and this is important the pan number matches the uh, title 5334533 and it matches the tag up front so extra washer so anyways, I just wanted to show you that, and we'll go ahead and show you some more stuff. Just wanted to take a look here underneath the, the deck lid there. You can see actually the light is working. Go ahead and turn the lights off. You can see here the engine is actually in really good uh, condition overall. I see Stanley finally showed up for a little video here, but the engine isn't the original uh, 1300 in it uh, anymore. I know that, I believe probably it's a uh, 1600, because not a lot of people would build a 1500, so, but I know the block is um, not a 1300 anymore. It's a, it's a newer block, and <clears throat> so it's probably a 1600. So I don't have a lot of details. I know it had been rebuilt and stuff, but um, I don't have any paperwork or anything like that. The little thing runs like a top. And um, I haven't noticed anything weird. There's a few little small uh, oil uh, seepages and stuff underneath, but you know nothing really uh, major in general. I'll put it on my lift so you can see it. And everything looks in order. You can see the insulation looks really nice. And there, and not any damage around here that you can see the deck lid is in re really nice condition as well. You know, you're obviously going to see a lot of photos um, of it too, but you know, video is nice because you can actually hear it running and stuff. So go ahead and start it up. You know, it sounds good. You know, actually, a really nice engine compartment. You know, it's nice that they kept it. You know, all looking soft and stuff. Go ahead and rev it up a little bit. You know, it's just great sound in it. It's really fun to drive. We'll take it out on the road here in a little bit. And, uh, see it behind the wheel. Hey, we're going to take a look underneath the hood. There's actually a little lever. We already pulled it on the uh, driver's side there, but underneath here is really, really clean. And I'm not going to take it all apart right now, but 
Um, we had a picture of everything out with the wheel and everything out in the, in the pan or the, uh, the little cover, but I want to take it out here so you can see. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. I mean, look at the inner aprons. You can see the original jack too, but these are really nice. You know, it hasn't been hit in the front so like so many of these cars, but really, really nice. Up here in the nose, looks really, really good. You can see the original VIN tag there and it matches the title. If we pop this open here, I'm not gonna take it all the way out because you can see it's attached underneath here, but you'll just kind of get an idea what this looks like underneath here. Really, really nice. You can see those aprons again up farther. In really good uh, condition overall. So we'll take this out and you, we'll get a picture of it so you can see it. But overall, super clean. Look underneath the hood. Again, in really nice uh, condition. So we'll go ahead and show you some more stuff. Gonna take a look underneath the bug here got it up on the lift you're all also going to see uh all the pictures of underneath and the auction stuff but i like to do a video it just gives us an opportunity to talk about uh you know just the general floors and uh, pans and uh, everything on these so you know it gives me a chance to kind of hit stuff and you know just a different perspective in general but you know photos are good but doing a video underneath here is really in important uh, to me. So this is actually a really clean uh, bug. You're going to see a lot of nice uh, things about it in general and I just don't know if I've ever seen an undercarriage of a bug this clean. So we'll just start here on the front to the back. You know we did take the wheel out that you saw uh, earlier um, and it has not been hit up here. I mean you look up in here really 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 nice very very clean no dents no nothing so very very nice and you're going to see all the little original spot welds on it across the nose little spot welds going across here really really clean we'll take a look at this side you can see again very very nice you'll see all the original spot welds going up the side there 
back behind the headlight all looks really good. Very, very clean. You can see up here in the front, in the beam, everything looks real nice. We did hit all the Zerk fittings on it and you can see here, it's got really nice shocks, you know, sack shocks. You know, all the ball joints, everything looks good. Brake lines look nice. You see this side here real fast. You know, everything's really, really clean underneath here. You know, first I was thinking this thing probably had uh, different floors put in it because they're, they're just so, so nice. But I believe these are probably the original floors. Just, especially because when I'm looking at them, you know, I can see all the original spot welds. This side, this side. You go up here in the front all the original spot welds. I just haven't seen anything that would lead me to believe that it's it's got different floors. You know, I think the body's probably been off the pan. Um, so it's kind of interesting. Right here, you can see some runs. Sorry, I'm going all over. Here you go. You can see these little runs here when they painted it. And the only way that could happen is that actually if the body you know the pan was laying on the side when they paint you know when they painted it so you can see right here there's a couple little dents and that's where the paint just came off right here it's not rusty or anything like that there's a little tiny uh, ding there and a couple little dents there so definitely you can see this is super super clean and I don't you know back here I put floors in and bugs so that's why I'm kind of just amazed how nice this is, but you can see all the original spot welds going across there. You can see up here too. You know, look at the rockers. Super nice. All the spot welds very, very clean. We'll take a look at this floor real fast. Again, all the original spot welds up here. Very clean example underneath here. Very, very nice. Let's take a look at the spot welds here too. You know, all the heater ducts and everything are all connected. You know, inside the tubs, look at the rear tubs. Very, very clean. You know, no accidents back up in here. You see the exhaust. You know, up underneath here looks good. Take a look up inside here, the inner tub. Again, very, very nice. You know, it's just pretty impressive, you know, underneath here in general. The engine and uh, transmission, you're gonna see some leakage, some different things. One thing we, we are gonna change, and we do not like these boots on here. They're just really stiff, and they were leaking uh, quite a bit. We wiped it off, but we're putting new boots on this side and they actually put them on incorrectly because they should be angled a little bit but they're just not very pliable and we're going to put a better uh, boot on it as well but you're going to see a little bit of seepage um, on different kind of things you see a little leak uh, right here this one really hasn't been dripping but there's been a I think there's a little leak that you can see here it's kind of damp it will leak. You know, it is a Volkswagen, so um, nothing uncommon, but it does drip. Um, you know, after you drive it, there'll be a couple spots on the floor. So, um, you know, that's, that's the only thing I can say. Um, <clears throat> you can just see, you can kind of see it on my finger there. So there's definitely, you know, a lot of air-cooled engines are, are kind of like this, you know, in general. So this here... I think I'm going to replace this if I can find one, so no guarantee. But this is uh, the filler, um, I mean the dipstick, and I can see a little bit of, you know, it's a bolt-on piece, a little bit of JB weld, so I think maybe they um, cracked it or something like this, just this little filler thing, and uh, tried to seal it or something like that. So we're going to try to find a new one uh, for that, but you can see they probably over-tightened it because you can see a little crack in the gasket. Uh, too, so we're gonna try to find a new oil filter or a filler. I mean, uh, 
I don't know why I keep on calling it filter. Um, a dipstick mount, because this block, you know, like I said before, isn't the original block. We believe it's probably not 1500, we believe it's a 1600 uh, block. So um, this was added uh, to it. So anyways, uh, I'll let you know, update on that. If we can't find one, then we're gonna leave it like that. But it hasn't really been leaking out of it uh, too much. It's just, I just know it was damped around, damp around there. It'd be better to change it. But you can see the exhaust is good. Everything else looks good. You're gonna see pictures with the uh, wheels off so you can see all the brakes and everything. So anyways, I hope that helps in general. Uh, just taking a peek underneath of it. It's actually really clean, you know. Definitely has a couple little flaws and things, but I mean, this is a nice old bug. So if you want to uh, give me a call, make comments, I'll bring a trailer, um, feel free to. Love to answer any questions. But this is this is really a great, great little bug right here. So good luck.